Good morning, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Today's video is a twin flame reading for the twin flame collective. I usually begin with the energy oracle cards, but today I felt strongly guided to the moonology deck. So I'm going to be pulling a single message from this deck just to provide a little bit of guidance as we begin this reading. What do twin flames listening to this reading need to hear at this time? Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. I also would like to read a little bit from the guidebook about this card because I do feel that there is some kind of deeper message here. Mutable is all about change, shape-shifting even that something is still developing. This card indicates that something is indeed changing. Take it as a sign that the situation you're asking about is far from finalized. If you're not happy with the current state of play, that's marvelous. It means you can still change the course of the outcome. However, there is also a sense that the situation could perhaps be a little unstable. For some of you, this is great news because you can still influence it. Attuned to the moon, I know that the best will unfold for me. Wow, what a beautiful and very synchronistic message, considering that lately I have been channeling a lot of information for Twin Flames about the fact that for many people, this is a time of deep level instability or feelings of like when I say deep level, I mean like energetic, emotional instability within this connection, especially since Mercury retrograde. However, all of this instability emerging for the purpose of healing to spotlight these dynamics, these these energy wounds within ourselves and our twin that are causing these situations of instability in order to heal them because these things are mutable as the moonology card said because these things are in motion are changing so i hope that some of you listening took encouragement from that initial opening message by the way i am premiering this reading live i do live premiere twin flame readings on mondays wednesdays and fridays at 12 p.m eastern standard time thank you so much to all of you who do join me live in these readings i do hang out during the live readings and chat with all of you in the live chat just having a conversation about the readings as the messages come out and also answering questions and i do just want to take a moment and say I am so, so grateful from the bottom of my soul for this beautiful, wonderful, aligned, uplifting community we are creating here together. So thank you for being part of that. And I always say this, but as someone listening to this reading, you aren't just passively hearing the messages, receiving the messages. You are actually playing a very important role in channeling this information because by being here and especially by sharing your energy here by commenting or most importantly by liking the video or subscribing to this community as someone as part of this community you are sharing your energy virtually with this this space we've created here together and in doing so i'm actually able to channel more specific messages for you and for your situation so if you haven't already be sure that you are subscribed and turn on notifications so you get updated whenever i do post new readings and important updates for the twin flame collective 
Now that we've gotten that Moonology deck message we were meant to get today, I am going to be launching into the Energy Oracle Cards deck, which you all know is my signature favorite deck that I use for these Twin Flame readings. So I'm going to start by just taking a deep grounding breath. Feel free to ground yourself, even pause the video, set an intention for this reading either out loud or in your own mind or even in the comments section or the live chats if you feel guided to do so. Also, you guys know who regularly watch my readings that I use something I call my love word scramble to bring forth specific words that connect with these readings. So today, one of the specific words that just came out is the word heard. And I instantly thought to myself, someone here either feels as though they aren't being heard or they are longing to be heard in some way. I'm not yet sensing whether this is the masculine or the feminine energy speaking here, although of course I should always say this in my readings, but when I channel messages and say, oh, this is for the masculine or this is for the feminine, first of all, always remember these labels, divine masculine and divine feminine, aren't necessarily tied to certain genders, so it could be a male or a female. These are just referring to certain energies and also because these are twin flame readings twin flames do mirror one another's energy so when i'm speaking about something happening or manifesting in a certain way for a feminine or masculine it could be reversed in your situation so always keep that in mind and of course above all else use your own intuition your intuition is the compass the guiding light of your life and especially of your twin flame path so always listen to that above all else now, as I was speaking, giving my little spiel there, a card did come out of the deck and it was adjacent possibilities. I am just going to ease into these messages by reading a little bit about this card from the guidebook because I did hear something about more possibilities than you realize or like expand your vision or something general along those lines. But I do, as you guys know, like to get very specific and in depth with the details on these messages. This card says, many unconsidered options. Sometimes the force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happier choices at hand. Yet every moment gives you the option to open a different door and take a different course, whether it's in your thoughts, behaviors, or major life decisions. The Adjacent Possibilities card is here to tell you that you have many options and it's time to take a wider look of things. Be conscious, be aware, and be flexible and willing to take new and different action now. So those are just some general thoughts. Take whatever connects with you, but I am going to be channeling specifics. So what are these unconsidered options in this Twin Flame situation I'm channeling? By the way, the word degree just came out twice, which is really interesting. So I could be connecting with some twin flame who is either taking college courses, working towards a degree, or someone who has recently graduated, or maybe that word connects with you in another way. Also the word apple came out and also the word away. So when I was asking clarification for the adjacent possibilities card, the card that emerged is the deceit card. How does deceit connect to these adjacent possibilities? How does someone feel as though they are being lied to or are they lying to themselves? What's going on here? That's interesting. When I said, are they lying to themselves? That's when this next card came out, which is confirming there could be some kind of self delusion going on here. The attachment card came out, which I usually connect to some kind of negative attachment. Oftentimes this attachment card can relate to a negative attachment to one's own negative beliefs or behavior patterns or limiting beliefs. How is someone lying to themselves? Anxiety. Wow, lots of dark cards. Someone I'm connecting with here, I feel is spiraling in some kind of 
some kind of, there's some kind of mental prison going on here for this person, for this energy I'm connecting with. You guys know that generally I like to start by just channeling some general collective dynamics that Twin Flames listening could be experiencing. And then of course, later on, stick around because I will get more in depth into specifically what the divine feminine side is feeling and thinking. And of course, what the masculine is feeling and thinking. Okay, so just taking the progression of these cards, it's like adjacent possibilities. There's something here that isn't being considered, or there's, I just feel like there's some element of illusion here. And with deceit coming out, it's like self deceit, someone lying to themselves or deceiving themselves. And I feel like this is coming from a space of ego. And this person is in this spiral of anxiety. I just felt a little bit of stomach pain, so I know this has been manifesting a lot for the collective, but this could be physically manifesting in this person's body as stomach issues because, of course, the stomach area in the physical body is connected to the solar plexus chakra in the energy body, especially the upper stomach area. So I do feel that, I literally feel this, I'm, I'm feeling this could be a feminine because I'm sensing or seeing through my third eye a feminine who is like either crying or upset or like spiraling potentially even late at night just staying awake like unable to sleep because these twinges it's like a twinge of anxiety that she's feeling through her physical body again this could be the masculine or the feminine i just am seeing that for many this will resonate as the divine feminine in this situation happened so i feel this is potentially her ruminating on some kind of past situation that happened with the divine masculine the word tip and also the word fellow came out, if that connects to you in any way. For some reason, I heard tipping point, like this feminine could be reflecting on a situation that brought her to a tipping point or another word for that that I'm channeling would be like a breaking point. I feel this divine feminine saying like, I see her just replaying this scenario or situation over and over again. And every time she relives it, it's like this trauma response in her physical body causing her a lot of anxiety. Interestingly, as I was speaking about that, the cornucopia card and the reverse position came out. So this card upright is extremely positive. It has to do with wishes being fulfilled, manifestations happening, dreams coming true. The fact this is reversed tells me it's like, I wanted all those things, but because of this situation that reached a tipping point or a breaking point, I feel like those wishes, those dreams, that manifestation was pushed out of my reach. I do feel a lot of this is happening within this energy. Again, I do strongly feel for many this is a divine feminine, but I feel as though it's almost happening within her own mind, particularly late at night. This could be a time where these anxious thoughts and feelings are triggered. The word arm, heat, and unit came out, if that connects in any kind of way. I do just want to read a little bit about this cornucopia card reversed, because I feel like there's more of a message here. I do want to get as specific as I can with this situation. The cornucopia card reversed is often a card of personal frustration. You may find yourself feeling discouraged by having your wishes denied, or perhaps you're just disappointed with the delays involved. This is really interesting. The words that stood out to me were personal frustration, discouragement, wishes denied, and disappointments, delays. This has definitely been a theme for many, especially divine feminines. I keep saying that, although I haven't specifically read into those energies, just intuitively, I do feel for many, this will be a feminine feeling this way. I wanna know more about this deceit card, how this deceit card connects to the, the reading, because I did say this was a self delusion, potentially a self deceit. The words lead and everywhere and also the name Bill came out. I did hear this message of, I would have let you lead me anywhere, everywhere. I would have followed you anywhere. I would have followed you to the ends of the earth. That's what I hear this feminine saying. Okay, let's take a deep breath and get some clarification here. So 
What is going on with this deceit card? Okay, so instantly when I asked that, the card that emerged is Angel of Love in the upright position and also Broken Heart. Okay, so by the way, I just saw the number 999. So I do want to quickly look up this number because I did see this recently in my own life and I didn't look it up, but now I'm really curious what the meaning of this number could be. So if you've been seeing 999, it's the dawn of a new era and you're closing a chapter in your life and stepping into something new with limitless opportunities. Some parts of your life are coming to an end and completion. I just felt this like lump in my throat feeling. Some feminines might be feeling this, especially late at night. I think they call it a globus sensation when it comes to anxiety. Okay, so from these two cards, Angel of Love and Broken Heart, there's some situation here where it's like, I gave you my heart and it was broken. I want to read a little bit about this Angel of Love card to see how this connected to a situation of brokenheartedness. The fact that it's a woman in this image does really lead me to believe we are speaking about how a feminine is feeling right now. Tinder connections. Remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward, and the compassion that you demonstrate toward yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. The angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. What a strong contrast this card is to the broken heart card which represents grief and loss, a heart breaking wide open revealing darkness, emptiness, and a grief filled tear. Deep healing is called for. Interestingly enough, the guidebook also says about the broken heart that self-care is a priority right now. Open your heart to the true and abiding love that you so rightly deserve. There is a situation of contrast, and again, these are just general beginning messages, but a situation of contrast being presented here for this energy, which I do strongly feel as a divine feminine, a situation in which it's like, Something she wanted out of this situation didn't come about or was delayed. And then with this angel of love and broken heart, it's like, I gave you all my love and my heart was broken. And right now, because of this contr contrasting situation, opening up your heart and having it broken, there is this call for deeper self-love to take that love and turn it inward. I feel this is a message from spirit coming out here for this energy, for this potentially divine feminine listening who is experiencing this period of darkness, emptiness, sadness, brokenheartedness to take that love she has always been projecting outward toward others and to turn it inward within herself to take all of that bright, beautiful, radiant love she is capable of giving and actually give it to herself, which I feel for many listening is very foreign for this divine feminine because I am feeling that I'm connecting with an energy who is very overgiving, very empathic, self-sacrificing to the point of emptiness, like giving so much of herself away, there's nothing left to turn within herself, if that makes sense. So I'm going to be reshuffling these cards because you know that normally I like to hold off on channeling too specifically into the divine feminine and masculine until I get a good feel for the dynamic, the back and forth going on here. Words that came out were ground, grew, and motor. I just heard this is a time of immense growth and a deep healing. So what other messages do twin flames listening need to know at, the, at this time? What's the general dynamic here? Well, this is very synchronistic because the card that flew out was door to romance reversed. And you guys know in my recent readings, this card has been coming out a lot. Metaphorically, the door in this connection has felt closed for many in the collective. For many, this is because of some kind of distance or separation, either physically, mentally, or emotionally. The name Robert came out, and also the word previous and game. Action. 
connection in the upright position. It's interesting because what I see here is, again, this contrast being set up. Door to romance reversed, which indicates something being closed off, potentially even some kind of separation within this love connection. But then action upright, it's like within this period of time of things appearing to be closed off, there is forward momentum. And I heard forward energetic momentum. It's like things are rapidly changing, but potentially beneath the surface in a way that you might not be able to perceive in the physical world. Yes. And with strategy reversed coming out, this situation is calling for all twin flames collectively, really anyone connecting with this reading to really release plans, expectations, timelines that were created from a space of ego. And very often we may not even fully recognize when an expectation or plan we created within our mind was actually coming from our ego because we live in a society where so much of how we connect with others, how we communicate, the careers we choose, so much of it is created from ego and we aren't even really taught about how to make decisions from the soul, how to recognize that soul's intuition. And this is such a major part of this path that we're on, especially as twin flames, releasing control. That's what I heard, release control. That's funny. I The words that came out of the word scramble were grass, not, and I instantly heard in my head, the grass is not greener on the other side or the grass wasn't greener on the other side. I want to hear more about this. Who is realizing the grass isn't greener on the other side? Deceit. Okay, so I feel this is circling back to potentially this situation that could have caused, again, I do strongly feel it was the divine feminine for many listening, but the situation that could have caused the divine feminine to feel this spiral of anxiety as she thinks about this, as she thinks about this thing that reached a breaking point or a tipping point. Whatever this situation was, I feel it could have involved her counterpart acting as though the grass was greener on the other side or believing the grass was greener on the other side and that saying kind of like potentially investing in other things that caused some kind of disconnect, even other people, it could be a third party situation or it could be just general interferences of anything about this masculine's life that could have been built from ego that was somehow interfering with his divine love connection. But I just heard it's like with this deceit card coming out, it's like, I feel in this situation, the feminine could have felt betrayed or deceived in some way, but also this masculine was like lying to himself. Of course, the card that comes out is yin yang reversed, just always indicating here that we are talking about a twin flame connection that was thrown out of balance because of this situation. Again, potentially of deceit where this divine masculine, it's like the divine feminine felt as though she was being deceived in some way, lied to or betrayed. However, what she doesn't realize is this divine masculine was also through this situation lying to himself because the lie he was telling himself was that the grass could be greener on this other side, in this other situation, or with this other person, whatever the case is, that was disconnecting him from his twin flame counterpart, from his divine feminine. And it's like this, I just heard realization, it's like a realization that that wasn't true, that that was a lie, that that was a self-deception. So we're kind of getting a feel for some of the dynamic going on here between these two twin flames I am channeling at the moment. I am just going to see if there are any final messages, general messages we need about this dynamic before diving into the specifics of both the feminine and the masculine side. The word above, personal, and powerful. And I did hear personal power. For some reason, I heard feminine personal power. I know this has been a time for many of the collective divine feminines truly stepping into their personal power. Are there any other general messages that twin flames collectively need to hear at this time?
Wow guys, okay, so I felt guided to the Romance Angels deck and the card that emerged is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I just heard release the poison from your veins, meaning let go. It's like these things I feel, especially on the feminine side, I feel these anxieties, twinges of anxiety, fear, doubt emerging from time to time. I hear it at random times. I hear sometimes when you least expect it or when you are most trying not to dwell on it or think about it. But I'm hearing that these things are coming up for the purpose of being addressed, felt through, and released. And I'm also seeing almost like this graph in my mind. It's like the more these, the more these ruminations, these fears, these doubts, these anxieties are released from your energy, the greater you are capable of experiencing the love that is available to you in the present. And I say that very intentionally because the thing about twin flame love, well, one thing about it, there are so many things to say about it, but one thing to be said is it always exists equally powerfully in every single moment and it is equally available to us in every moment, regardless of the physical circumstances with our twin. It's just that at certain times, we are able to experience it in a more conscious way in the 3D world, in a more profound way. And this all hinges on how energetically open or energetically blocked we are because our twin flame is always eternally, unbreakably, powerfully, energetically connected to us. It's just that the extent we are able to experience physical manifestations of that love in the 3D all depends on how we are allowing that love energy to flow or alternatively how we are blocking the flow of that energy. So this is also why I am so passionate about creating sound therapy, energy healing, shifting, opening, and balancing tools. And my favorite tool for this kind of energy shifting and healing is meditation combined with subliminals. Subliminals are audio tracks embedded with meditation sounds, powerful binaural beat frequencies, and unconscious affirmations. Now, by unconscious, I mean that these affirmations are usually barely perceptible to the conscious mind and the purpose of this is that they are capable of bypassing the conscious filter of the mind and making deep lasting impressions on the subconscious mind which this is so vital because it's actually our subconscious mind that controls 95 percent of our thoughts actions and outcomes in life so when it comes to our energy field when you think about our thoughts as impacting our energy very directly, if 95% of our thoughts are unconscious, are stored in the subconscious mind, then it's truly the subconscious that dominates our energy field. So this is also the back door to deep level energy healing because when we shift what is going on in the subconscious mind, when we reprogram the subconscious, we essentially reprogram our energy field as well. So on my website, soundandsoulful.com, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. As you can see on the screen, I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence, happiness, anxiety relief, for the twin flame path, of course, specifically. I have several subliminals dedicated exclusively to twin flames, and you can try out any of these subliminals completely free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my website. So because I am so passionate about subliminals and I personally meditate with them every single day, and I have been doing this since November when I started meditating with my own seven chakra clearing, which is available on my website. And I will link that in the pinned comment in description. But as I started meditating with this, seven chakra clearing, I instantaneously began to notice first my energy feeling clearer, 
feeling my vibration raise. And then very quickly within a few weeks and months of using this subliminal daily, I started to see rapid changes in my life, changes that I had not seen in the five or six years I'd been using the law of attraction beforehand without subliminals. So in this time, it's how I have built my channel to this level. Back when I started meditating with this subliminal, I had less than a thousand subscribers. And since this community has built and grown so much, and I feel a big part of that was this daily meditation, energy clearing, and subconscious mind reprogramming practice. So I will be linking any subliminals I recommend during this reading, as well as that seven chakra clearing specifically in the pinned comment and description box under this video. So now that we've read into the general energies for the Twin Flame Collective at this time, I would like to speak specifically to the Divine Feminine. Instantaneously, the card we get is Storm Warning. I did see the number 1010 earlier, so for any of you who've been seeing this number, I want to read into these energies a little more specifically. So just looking up the number 1010, this number means that your angels want you to begin to trust yourself, your emotions and thoughts. This is really synchronistic because the word self-trust has been something I've been channeling a lot for the collective, but especially for the divine feminine. I do want to read from the guidebook just a little bit more about this storm warning card. This card indicates a potential difficulty either in the external world or within yourself and your emotional life. The caution here is to be conscious, yet not fearful. This is really interesting. Let me know in either the live chat or the comments if you are a divine feminine who's felt some sense of a storm, either an emotional storm or a literal storm in your life or in your relationships or even in your connection with your twin. Because I do feel this kind of ongoing sense of a storm is something that many divine feminines are feeling or experiencing from a 3D perspective. I did strongly hear emotional storm the words general, lamp, and yes came out. The yes could just be a confirmation. This is, for many divine feminines, a storm, metaphorically speaking, that's going on emotionally. So what is this emotional storm that this divine feminine is feeling at this time? By the way, we are speaking first to this divine feminine's 3D physical self. And then, of course, we will get into higher self love messages. Apart. And also the word accept came out. So what I almost heard, it's like almost accepting this apartness, accepting some kind of separation or distance. And as I was speaking on this, the second chakra card also emerged, which of course connects with the sacral chakra, which is directly connected with our emotional and physical intimacy. This makes a lot of sense because this card has been coming out a lot recently in my previous readings. And many of you in this community especially those of you who are divine feminines, but also divine masculines. I do connect with many beautiful, conscious, divine masculine energies here as well. But collectively, we are really healing a lot of these lower chakra centers. So we're talking about the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and even the solar plexus. And I feel all of these wounds, these energy wounds in the lower chakras are making themselves known collectively at this point in order to be healed. And I feel many of these things have existed very unconsciously beneath the surface for some time and are just now being brought to light, brought to the light of our conscious awareness in order to be healed. As I was speaking about that, two cards came out, the heart chakra card and appreciation in the upright position. So instantaneously with the heart chakra, I saw it's like there's this combination of, it's like the heart chakra and the sacral chakra being being healed together. And specifically what I heard is the more you heal your sacral chakra, meaning the more you open yourself, begin to feel safe, comfortable, and open in your emotional and physical connections, especially romantically speaking. But the more you deepen that sense of security within intimacy, 
the more that your heart chakra is opening as a result. Because it's like, I just heard someone say, it's like, the more I feel safe, the more I feel able to open my heart. I do feel though that there was some situation in the past that really triggered this feeling of emotional or physical security, specifically within an emotional, or I should say romantic, specifically connection. The word image, liquid, and eaten came out, if that connects with you in any way. With the word image, I almost saw someone looking at photos of like, I see what I'm seeing as a divine feminine looking at photos of other feminine energies on social media. These could even be feminines who are directly connected in some way to her divine masculine and feeling this twinge of like insecurity or jealousy or fear or doubt or something. And that also really confirms because the envy card came out. So I'm almost seeing this divine feminine, this could be a past situation or something she is healing of feeling either jealous of other feminine energies or feeling insecure with the masculine because of specifically, again, I'm just seeing someone looking at photos online of other women or females or something who are somehow connected with, or she perceives to be connected with this masculine. The word arrow came out. So I heard this is almost like an arrow to her heart. It like pierces her heart to see or to perceive her divine masculine to be connecting with other feminine energies. The appreciation card also came out here. It's like, I see this kind of scale here. It's like on one end you have envy, on the other end you have appreciation. And I feel this divine feminine, part of this healing process for her recently has been shifting herself from this state of envy, meaning jealousy or insecurity, which, you know, we as a society tend to label very negatively these feelings of insecurity or jealousy. We'll call the woman who experiences these things like crazy or she'll be labeled all kinds of ways. But what we need to understand is what is happening beneath the surface here. There's something much deeper taking place here. When we experience these feelings of envy or jealousy or insecurity, because of the ways that society labels these emotions, especially when women are experiencing these emotions, oftentimes as divine feminines, we tend to self-label and self-judge these feelings. And in doing so, we essentially bottle them up or repress them with our own self-judgment rather than healing them. And we actually can worsen them or intensify them because we feel it's almost like a sense of guilt or unworthiness or self-judgment simply for experiencing these feelings. But what you need to know, if you're a divine feminine connecting with this, there's a much deeper message for you here. And I feel it connects with why these feelings of envy exist in the first place. Very often, especially for women or divine feminines, feelings of envy actually come from root chakra imbalances that can actually stem from generational curses or what we call generational curses, which is really just kind of a fantastical or fancy term for negative belief patterns that are handed down from generation to generation in this case especially through the line of the mother so very often feelings of jealousy and insecurity especially if you're a divine feminine could be something that you are healing not just for yourself but actually for previous generations for particularly the women or divine feminines in your family line who have experienced these root chakra imbalances that caused deep feelings of insecurity within their romantic connections. As I was speaking on this, the cards door to spirit and rest and rejuvenation came out in the upright position. Door to spirits, I always connect with someone opening their intuition and rest and rejuvenation, of course, is connected to things like meditation, allowing your physical energy and emotional body to rest. And I am strongly hearing this, this message of guidance from spirits or your spirit guides, the divine forces guiding your life, whatever you personally connect with about taking time to rest recharge and relax because I am connecting with a feminine who is like always on the go or someone who is 
perhaps a workaholic or always busying herself or distracting herself with work or different things, different forms of emotional stimulus. So whether this is constantly absorbing media, social media, constantly working, constantly, there's something about distraction here. And I hear a message. I also heard, why did I hear um, like painkiller? Almost like these forms of distraction for this feminine could be coping mechanisms or metaphorical painkillers, a way to numb out painful feelings she is processing that could be directly connected to what is going on in the twin flame connection she is experiencing right now or with the masculine. And I'm hearing this gentle message of guidance for this feminine to, first of all, not feel self-judging for these negative feelings, these negative emotions that are coming up, but to know, first of all, that through experiencing, processing, and healing these emotions, these feelings, these triggers, she is doing more powerful work than she realizes. She is healing generational patterns, wounds, curses, not only for herself, but for her family's line. And in connection to that, I'm hearing, don't be afraid of the darkness within you. Learn to see into the darkness. Learn to love, to embrace the darkness and to transmute it into light, which is kind of a strange message, but there's like this inner child work, this kind of shadow work, this shadow work healing message kind of coming up here not to be afraid of these triggers and these negative emotions, not to judge them, not to label them, to allow yourself to process them. And also through, I just heard being with yourself, giving yourself time and space to relax, to meditate, to sleep, even to heal through this rest and rejuvenation, whatever that means for you. There is a powerful spiritual and energetic healing taking place beneath the surface during these times of rest. I'm also hearing a message for a feminine who may feel as though she is unusually tired all the time lately or not sleeping very well. And if this is you, you do need to know that this could be a sign of these healings taking place, of this work taking place within you, beneath the surface, during these times of rest. So listen to your own inner guidance and intuition when it comes to needing rest, needing rejuvenation, because there is a reason for that. And we are so often taught by society to judge ourselves for needing rest or needing time to recharge, to relax because we live within such a cult of productivity, especially within Western society. But I'm really hearing that there is a divine feminine being guided to release that, to truly hear her own needs that are coming from her own soul's intuition, telling her when she needs rest, when she needs to recharge. So I am going to see if there are any other messages from this Divine Feminine's 3D physical self at this time. And then we will get into higher self-love messages. Calling in your soulmates, which by the way, with that word soulmates, I do with any twin flame reading, often connect that with a twin flame. So take it as it resonates. But this card says, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring you together. That is very synchronistic because I was just speaking about this rest and rejuvenation, the importance of allowing your body, your mind, your spirit to rest, to recharge. And in doing this, I was speaking on this deeper level, spiritual and energetic healing taking place. But now with this calling in your soulmate card, speaking to the importance of visualization, affirmations, prayers, which of course could be meditation for you, depending on how you apply that word prayers. But I am seeing it's like through this rest and rejuvenation, you are doing more than even this deeper level emotional and spiritual healing I was describing. This is actually through this healing, clearing the energy between you and your twin and will result in bringing you closer together. Of course, first energetically in the fifth dimension and then anything that happens within this fifth dimension within our energy field will of course manifest physically in the 3D world as well. So now I'm going to be speaking to this Divine Feminine's higher self. So what messages does this Divine Feminine's higher self have for the Divine Masculine? Be 
Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. What a twin flame related card. This card is essentially describing what we call twin flame mirroring and sometimes twin flame mirroring and triggering. I feel like here this divine feminine's higher self is speaking both to the masculine and to herself. Why is the name Martin coming up again in my word scramble? That's so funny. That name has come up so much. It came up in the last reading as well, but also the words wooden and topic. It's interesting with this card. I want to get more information on what this divine feminine's higher self is speaking about. Appreciation reversed. I just heard like lack of gratitude, dissatisfaction, lack of appreciation. I'm going to read a little bit about this card just to see if I can get some more specific messages. You may have gotten caught up in the prickly brambles of negativity, possibly even despair. Stop focusing on what you don't have, even if it seems to be a lot. Instead, find something to appreciate about yourself and your life. Your refusal to appreciate even the small pleasures will cause them to drop from your hands and keep you stuck in some of your problem patterns, causing you to lament and lack even more. Specifically with this stuck in problem patterns i heard like stuck in separation and i'm hearing that there could be a feminine or a masculine whoever this connects with who has been inevitably fixating on the physical 3d realities that they perceive of disconnect or of separation and in doing so first of all i do want to express compassion for the person experiencing this this is not a judgment whatsoever because of course we live in this physical world it's very hard not to perceive those realities of separation when they do seem to exist around us whether it's a physical distance from our twin someone being emotionally distant it's very human and normal to consciously be aware of and fixate on these experiences of disconnect However, I am hearing that recently someone in this connection has been overly fixating or worrying about this situation to the point where it's actually been disconnecting them a bit. I want to hear more about this. The words leaving soon and Russian. For some reason, I heard like a feminine saying, I always feel like you're going to be leaving again. I heard abandonment issues or like fear of abandonment, or it's like a feminine worry that she's always going to be left or abandoned. Specifically with the masculine, I hear it's like, how can I trust that you're not going to leave again? How can I trust this? That's what I'm hearing from a feminine. Once again, I'm circling back to that rest and rejuvenation card showing an image of a person meditating. I do strongly feel if you're connecting with these messages, meditation might be especially useful for you, especially connecting back to that calling in your soulmate card, speaking to the fact that these visualizations do assist in a powerful way in bringing you and your twin together. So specifically for this meditation practice, if you really want to amp up your energy and your meditation results, both energetically, emotionally, and ultimately physically, I do always recommend meditating with subliminals as well. So you could use any of the subliminals I've created in the Twin Flame category on my website, but specifically I would really recommend my Seven Chakra Twin Flame Clearing. I did mention my general Seven Chakra Clearing earlier, which I use every morning, but I do sometimes also incorporate this Twin Flame Clearing as well, even though I am in union with my twin. I do find that listening to this Twin Flame Seven Chakra Clearing results in really being able to tap into that twin flame energy very strongly that unconditional love energy and really allow all of that magnetism between you and your twin to flow so for best results i would also recommend doing a visualization while listening to this and meditating imagining yourself connecting with your twin either physically or in conversation or whatever is most applicable to you so i will leave a link to this twin flame seven chakra clearing in the pinned comment and description box 
So the words that came out in the word scramble were solid, ground, and act. Someone could be connecting with a twin flame who is an actor, I did hear that. But with solid ground, I instantly connected those words solid ground to solid foundation, which of course made me think again of the root chakra, which is the energy foundation of our energy body. The card action in the reverse position came out. So this really indicates to me a higher self message from this feminine, reminding maybe her physical 3D self that unless she is feeling guided from a very intuitive, energetically grounded space, a calm, clear space, that now is not the time to rush into action, but to go within herself. That is what I'm hearing for this divine feminine. This message of finding stability, foundation, energetically within yourself, emotionally, physically, within your own self prior to rushing into some, or really never rushing into action, but prior to even stepping into an action mode, be sure you find that stability within before you move forward to manifest that stability with another. That is what I'm hearing for this Divine Feminine. So for the sake of time, I am going to now head over to the Divine Masculine side of things. I will be channeling much more in-depth messages for this reading in the extended version. So if you are interested in checking out the extended version of this reading, it will be available in our beautiful Twin Flame Soul Tribe community on Patreon. So you can click the link in the pinned comment under this video and check out all of the extended, more detailed and specific messages for this reading. I'm just shuffling the energy oracle cards really well again to clear out all of those old energies from the divine feminine and to really channel clear messages from the divine masculine side. So what is the divine masculine feeling or thinking in the physical world? How is this divine masculine behaving in the physical? So the words that came out in the word scramble were growth and layers. So I see two messages here. It's like this masculine is growing spiritually by peeling back the layers. And what I mean by peeling back the layers is peeling back the layers of ego, of superficiality, anything in his life that has not been built from a soul aligned space. Now, of course, depending on the nature of your specific connection, the ways in which this is manifesting physically within your the physical component of your twin flame connection in the physical world could be very different. So if you are a divine feminine listening, you might not be fully aware as of yet of all of the ways in which this masculine is peeling back these layers, is growing. So if you aren't aware of those things, I am going to see if I can read into the specifics of that. So how is this masculine peeling back the layers? The words that came out were Greek and also traffic. Someone might be like a driver, a taxi driver, Uber driver, something like that. So how is this masculine growing or peeling back the layers? The card walking away came out. I heard two separate messages. Take it as it resonates, but I heard for some, it could be that this masculine was pushed to peel back these layers, pushed to grow because his feminine did step back, withdraw, or walk away in some sense within this connection. However, that won't apply for everyone. And for some I'm hearing, I literally heard like he walked away or he is in the process of walking away from like people or situations or something that has been holding him back from his growth in some way. So I do want to see the specifics. What is this masculine I'm connecting with potentially walking away from or considering walking away from? What has this masculine been walking away from? I knew this card was going to come out. Contract in the reverse position. So the situation a masculine I'm connecting with here is walking away from 
is connected to some kind of karmic contract. Now, I am going to be speaking more on karmic contracts in future podcast videos, but these karmic contracts can come in the form of a literal relationship, either platonically or romantically. In twin flame context, we sometimes call this a third party karmic situation. However, these karmic contracts are not necessarily a person or relationship. It could also be a negative behavior pattern, a limiting belief pattern, an addiction. Karmic contracts can take many different forms, but I am hearing two, again, two different messages. Either a feminine walked away, withdrew, or separated, and this caused this masculine to be pushed to break this karmic pattern, or alternatively, this is simply a message that he is beginning to choose to walk away or is walking away from this karmic contract that has been interfering with this connection in the past. This has been a very recurrent message in my readings, which of course does make sense because doing these regular energy updates means that certain messages will be repeated because not every energy changes drastically day to day. The word harbor came out and also steady. It's almost like I heard steady, stable, like this masculine wants to offer a stable commitment to the feminine or a deeper connection. But the, with the word harbor, for some reason I heard harboring resentments. So there could be some situation where someone in this twin flame connection was harboring resentments from a space of ego in the physical. Alternatively, this could be connected with the third party. <laughs> I said third party karmic. It might not be a relationship, but whatever this karmic situation was, there could have been resentments here, someone harboring resentments. Several cards, by the way, just flew out as I was speaking on that. So I am going to read into those cards and I feel this will bring us the final messages I'm going to channel for now for this masculine's 3D self. So the first card was the temple path reversed. So whatever situation this was, particularly I am feeling with this karmic, this situation caused the divine masculine to temporarily be or feel disconnected from his divine self, this divine love connection, or his divine path. With happy family reversed, I do hear that this karmic situation could have been a manifestation of inner child wounds, which have been coming up a lot recently for the masculine. I feel because these inner child wounds on the masculine side are being brought to the surface for the purpose of being healed in a more deep and profound way. Also, the word student and experience and curious came out. Also, the card indecision reversed came out, which indicates to me decisiveness. Like, I have chosen, I have made a decision, a coming out of the fog, a coming out of a period of seemingly or perceived indecisiveness. So what I'm seeing here is a dynamic in which a masculine appeared to be very indecisive, or in the past, but really he was just confused because of the ways he was disconnected from his divine self, from his divine path, and the ways in which he was trapped or stuck in this karmic cycle. But now he is entering a period of decisiveness, either within his heart and soul, or this could be manifesting physically. Although I feel for many, this is something happening or shifting energetically for this masculine. With the broken heart card in the upright position, I did hear grief, loss, grieving. I feel like this, in a sense, has been a dark time for many of the masculines. And I, I strongly just feel a masculine who it's like he was in this confusing, chaotic, almost a metaphoric forest within this karmic situation. And coming out of this situation to him feels like, I just heard it almost feels like coming out of a coma or coming out of a fog or a dark forest, like not even realizing how confused he had been. I heard like how out of whack his priorities had been, some kind of message like that coming out here. So again, I will be channeling much more specific messages for this masculine, what he's feeling, thinking and experiencing and why he might be behaving certain ways in the 3D physical world. All of that will be in the extended portion of this reading, which again is linked in the pinned comment. But for now, I'm going to, for the sake of time, get into this masculine's higher self. By the way, I just saw the number 222 on my recording time. 
which as many of you know is a very aligned number a number of alignments for the twin flame path and also a number of confirmation okay so journey in the reverse position wow i just got a wave of goosebumps and i clearly heard a male voice saying I'm coming home or I'm returning home to you. Like him speaking to the feminine saying, I'm coming back home to you. Wow, I have so many chills right now just from this card. I do wanna know more specifics. So how does this masculine feel as though he's returning home? So the cards that came out from the romance angels were romantic feelings, let go of control issues and attraction. For some reason I heard it's like I'm finally allowing myself to consciously feel what I have unconsciously known all along. I am now channeling this masculine who on some soul level, on an unconscious level, has always been aware of this connection, of the depth, of the intensity, of the passion within this connection. However, I'm, I am, once again, I'm seeing the sacral chakra coming up here, like in my third eye, I'm seeing that card. And I feel that because of this masculines, I just heard like fear of intimacy, either fear of emotional or physical intimacy or something along those lines. Or again, this could be tying back to that karmic contract. There was something preventing this masculine from fully consciously connecting with what he was unconsciously experiencing with his twin flame but it's like at this time this masculine energy is now allowing himself to consciously connect with those romantic feelings attractive feelings that of course he's always felt on a soul level but i'm almost feeling this masculine who it's like let me know if this connects with anyone i feel this could just be for one person but it's like a masculine who almost feels guilty for feeling attraction this could be someone who is connecting with a third party again i feel this could just be one person or a few people but someone who almost like isn't allowing themselves to feel the love passion and attraction that they are feeling beneath the surface to their divine feminine because of some kind of circumstance that seems to be preventing them from it feeling this way or like allowing themselves to feel this way let me know if that connects with you that really does seem to be something i'm channeling for someone because the word careful came out almost like someone telling themselves to be careful like don't let yourself feel this way i hear someone saying like don't get in over your head or like something along those lines again i feel that will just be for a few people listening but i also saw the word hair so there could be something significant about your hair or your twin flames hair also asleep it's almost like this masculine is saying on a higher self level that's spiritually speaking he had been very asleep to the truth of this connection pattern also came out so it's almost like i heard karmic pattern asleep to the truth of this connection stuck in a karmic pattern but this thing is that that is like what is shifting that is how he is metaphorically returning home returning home to himself and in doing so returning home to his divine feminine and to the truth of this love connection that he has always known on a soul level so that is where i'm going to leave this reading for now again i will be channeling more specific messages within the extended portion of the reading available on patreon so if you would like to get some specific letter initials that could be involved in these situations as well as a more detailed channeled love message from the divine feminine and the divine masculine today then be sure to head down to the pinned comment and click the link that i have pinned within that comment to explore Explore more of the extended messages for this reading. All of the subliminals I recommended in this reading, which were my seven chakra clearing, my twin flame seven chakra clearing, and I didn't mention these, but because it came up very frequently, I will also be linking the root chakra activation and the sacral chakra activation because those are certain energy points that we are doing a lot of radical healing and balancing work collectively upon at this time. 
All four of those subliminals will be available as well, linked in the pinned comment and description box. You can click any of those links and explore more of the energetic benefits infused into each subliminal meditation. So this is where I am closing Monday's reading. I am so, so grateful to each and every one of you beautiful souls who are here, not just listening, but literally co-creating everything on this channel along with me and with our beautiful community here. Please do subscribe to this channel if I resonate with you and be sure to turn on the notifications so you get updated whenever I post new readings and twin flame updates. You can also follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself where I post high vibrational twin flame content to keep your vibration up all day long. Have a wonderful, beautiful start to your week and I will talk to you again in the next reading.